Let us take this time to quiet our hearts and minds and come before our God in prayer. Almighty God, creator of everything that is good, you are gracious, righteous, and merciful. You are our God and we are your people. Each one of us is known and loved by you. Thank you for bringing us together to worship you this day. Thank you that the finished work of Jesus has opened the door to reconciliation with you. You have given us new life in Jesus Christ. Thank you for your word that nourishes our souls, teaches us how to live and how to pray. Thank you for the gift of prayer. You have made a way and invited us to call upon your holy name at any time. You listen and hear every individual and corporate prayer. Thank you for making us a church where prayer really matters, where we pray confidently and constantly. Lord God, we are so full of thanksgiving. Thank you for all of the ways that you have worked in our midst this past week. Thank you for the healing that has been taking place in the lives of our church family. Thank you for the growth that we see in our church family. Father, we rejoice and we give you all the glory. Father, with the world news often so troubling, we are grateful for your steadfast love. And hear us now as we pray for world leaders who are compassionate and just. Leaders who will protect creatures and community and habitats and nations that our way of life is now threatening. Leaders who will create a generous sharing of resources between countries that have and countries who have not. Leaders who are willing to make peace and settle differences fairly. Lord, we pray for all the ministers and their churches around the world. So many are struggling to restructure and organize. Continue to be with the leadership of our own church community right here. Bless them with wisdom and a true desire to seek your will in all decision making. Father, thank you for the unconditional love, caring, and compassion that you hold for all people. We do not have to look far to witness those who are hungry and hurting right here in our own community. Revive the energy and the dedication of all who serve their needs. And prompt us by your Holy Spirit to show your love and to bring your light into their lives. Lord, we bring before you all who are struggling with mental and physical health concerns. Those who are having to manage the side effects of cancer treatments. Those who are waiting for diagnosis and treatments and those whose health challenges are invisible to others. Let Eileen and Nora in hospital and all of those who are not well in their homes feel your healing presence and your peace in their hearts. Comfort our families who are grieving losses and tragedies. We remember too the family of the police Officer Constable Yang, slain in BC, and the gentleman tragically killed on the Queenie right near us this week. And those who we know personally who are grieving and changes in their families, fill them with all your peace, Father. And we bring before your throne of grace all of these concerns and all of these requests and the requests of our own hearts. And with our confidence in you, O oh God, who knows the beginning from the end, 
we pray for thy will to be done. So hear us now as we pray as Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.